Hello there, my name is Neil O'Brannacon and I am a former member of the Irish Parliament and I'm currently working as a researcher in the National University of Ireland in Galway. I'm working together with uh, colleagues from five different countries in Europe on an EU interreg project called Care Pete. Together with colleagues from the Greifswald Meyer Centre in Germany, Wetlands International and other colleagues from right across the European Union, we've put together a position paper for the Common Agricultural Policy. Now this position paper seeks to do two key things. The first is to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions uh, from degraded peatlands. And the second thing is to uh, make sure that farmers in the European Union get a better income. Now it's possible to do these two things together by re-wetting peatlands. Let's have a look at the global situation. Roughly one third of all soil carbon is stored in peatlands whereas peatlands only cover roughly 3% of the global land area. However, degraded peatlands contribute to roughly 5% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Thankfully though, a lot of this can be reduced by simply re-wetting those peatlands. But to put things in context, roughly 5%, as we said, of uh, greenhouse gas emissions globally are contributed to by peatlands, whereas direct contributions from shipping and aviation only amount to 2% each. In terms of global carbon stocks, peatlands are the most significant ecosystem on the planet. In fact, they hold four times as much carbon as tropical rainforests, and they hold twice as much as a giant coniferous forest. Our cap position paper clearly shows where the peatlands are in Europe. Obviously most of them are in the northern part of Europe where it tends to rain a lot because they're obviously wetlands. The key target of our position paper is to facilitate the new environmental ambitions of the post-2020 Common Agricultural Policy and to create coherence between agricultural and climate policies. CAP obviously must safeguard and stimulate preservation of carbon-rich soils through protection of peatlands. Our primary goal is to guarantee eligibility of farmed wet peatlands for CAP payments to farmers. Our CAP position paper shows degraded peatlands right across the European Union. But it also shows that by re-wetting 3% of agricultural land, we can save up to 25% of agricultural emissions. So what we're trying to encourage is we're trying to encourage wetland farming rather than traditional rain drained farming polluticulture in other words, and we're trying to encourage carbon farming. What we want to do is keep the carbon in the ground, not in the atmosphere, and keep our wetlands wet. Thank you very much.